run on the stream. So it's a it's an important day. The V200 Special Train to Munich. Max operation speed is 140 kmh. It runs the S-Bahn line between Alching and Pazing. Please be careful of the speed. This is by Ron Futar. Isn't this wonderful? <coughs> We've got magic and wizardry. We don't have magic and wizardry. Hang on a minute. I was wondering why the rail driver woke up and started flashing earlier on. It's because it's disconnected. Have you reconnected now? Ah, yes. Alright, we've got lights. Wrong ones. We now have still the wrong ones. Just trolling me now, aren't you? Seriously? All you get on this is red lights, is it? Okay. Well, in that case, we'll just have red lights then. Okay, brakes off, throttle on. <coughs> Horn. This is cool, this is. Yeah, this train is part of the European asset pack, absolutely. Any levers that work here? What can we play with? Uh, so this is a really, really old train. Yeah, not a lot. <coughs> oh, it's Crass Muffet. Interesting. Does anyone in the UK recognise this? Does this ring any bells for you if you are in the UK? Or at least familiar with UK Trek, shall we say? And if not, why not? Call yourself a UK enthusiast! Thank you, David. Basically, uh, it's the same basic design as the UK's passport and warship, and there is there is heritage in there. I see over there. I see. I see me. I see. Is it Delta? No, it's the warship. No, the, the hydraulics. That run on the uh, that run in the western region. Yeah, if you Google it, you'll find that there is actually um, they don't just look coincidentally look the same. They they're actually have a very similar heritage. I can't remember which way it wound, whether the Germans used the 42 or whether or not the um, the 42 was based on the um, V200. But there is definitely heritage. Wipers. You see wipers, don't they? Get it. They look a bit broken. Seriously, those wipers look about as ineffective as wipers can be. Stopping at Pazing, 21 kilometres, and then Munich. <coughs> the Germans came first. The warship's smaller than the other There you go. I knew I'd, I'd read about it, but you know, in one, in eyes, out. Something else, but we won't go into what it goes out of. Those wipers just look gloriously useless. That said, if you look at the mark there, it would actually just about give me a little window to look through. So if you haven't got this and you want this, you get this by going to uh, getting the European asset pack. And to be honest, you probably do have it. Well, mostly, a lot of people have got their European asset pack. Change that to kilometres. Southern Pacific fan, you start school tomorrow. Oh dear. Work hard. That's probably not what you wanted to hear, but that's what you should hear.
Adam Gamer, uh, the, ooh, hello, 80 mile an hour. Yeah, this would do as a warship replacement strat shadow. Um, da -dum, da -dum. <laughs> What's the problem with no... Ah, oh, it's so slowed down now, I can speak back up. You're back in for third year at college, Frasquez. Well, have fun. Enjoy it. Turn over eye in your school right now, but treating yourself to yourself. As you say. What? That's Why am I driving a diesel on an electrified route? This is a special service. And there's nothing more driving a diesel on an electric route. KMC DTE from Southern Pacific Price Map Fight. Yeah, I think that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? It kind of, it kind of looks, remember rightly, like it's sort of that, but with a flat nose, isn't it? Adam Gamer, was I going to say about lights? Um, yeah, the uh, the lights on this aren't. Um, they appear to only give red lights. when your class schedule works out perfectly so you can watch it. Super. <coughs> Scarlet Hearts, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Uh, slime pie, yes, this was uh, not one of the first, but one of the uh, early, early, early ones. Near enough, one of the first ones. This doesn't have PZP. I don't even know why they're like there this one. <laughs> the warship is smaller than it's under the cab windows. Yes, it does, David. I was referring to the um, Southern Pacific um, crowd map on. I thought I had 140 chemists to me, you're probably right. It does sort of say it in the cab, doesn't it? 180 mile an hour at the next um, signal. Oh, to be honest, Strat Shadow, if you're looking for a warship. This will do, won't it? It wouldn't surprise me if you go onto some of the freeware sites like UK Trainington. You might even find a BR Green version of it. <laughs> Stopping anywhere at the moment. Simon, I can't fix the lights. There you go, just enjoy for those that really want to see white lights. There it goes off. Position one and position two. There are only the two. Bonsoir, do we only have four this week and four next week? Uh, no, we should be alright next week. I'm not stopping at Olching, I'm stopping at Pazing, according to this. so you're just going to be sneaky. <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah, Final Spire, so it's um, um, four days this week. We should be back to five next week, I think. I think. Oh, we're going to one us including the Monday, of course. Yeah, it's bank quality Monday, isn't it? So yes, it'll be OMR streams, but um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Oh, 
Oh, I heard about the nodulus rift, yeah. <laughs> Runic, I am doing very well, thank you. Do I enjoy this? I do quite like the Munich Augsburg route. It's not long, so you can uh, so you can sort of do a whole journey from end to end without having to, you know, take hours over it. Killer Hornet Gaming. I've already met Squirrel. Um, I'm sure I'll be seeing him again at some point, but I've got no, we've got no plans to meet up again at the moment. Does the locomotive run passenger trains in real life? I believe. Uh, I don't know whether they still exist, but I, I believe they used to run passenger trains. Yeah. Oh, of course, I'll be seeing Squirrel, and uh, at least I shall see Squirrel on the Acer stand at um, Insomnia, yes. And if Steve is about, I shall uh, say hi to Steve as well. Um, Southern Pacific fan, it's the Pennsylvania Railroad GE44. Oh, overtaking hype. Seven kilometres to passing. It was complimenting us, I think. Which, what was he saying, Killer Hornet Gaming? I didn't get much time to watch other people's videos, unfortunately. Passenger view. You don't really see much on these routes because of the uh, noise barriers. Whereas in Somnia this time, any C Katie on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, Monday, I think. Actually, we run, I'm going on Friday. There's clearly something wrong with the colour tone on it. This sort of looks like it's magenta or something. It's grey for crying out loud. And that BR423 driver just looked up and went, uh, uh, B200? What? Oh, that's good. Thanks, Killer Hornet Gaming. It's really nice to hear that. Class 390 scenario. Yeah, we should do a Class 390 scenario at some point. Someone suggest some Class 390 scenarios into the, the Pulo scenarios. Pazzing! We have Pazzing. Two and a half kilometres. kilometers an hour. We'll do a career scenario when a U30C comes out. Well, when any new product comes out, I try and make sure I run, uh, I'll give it a good run on the stream over that week.
60 kmh at the next signal. Just haven't got to acknowledge it. <laughs> Paul CJ, if you've suggested it, it will be there. Don't worry. Am I ever going to try explain 10? Probably not, for the same reason I don't going to run any different train simulators. I'll, if I'm going to run flight sims, I'll run the runs that um, the dovetail produce. I was looking at microphones again today. I'm stuck on either the Rogue, uh, the Rode NT USB, or the Rode uh, Podcaster. I just they're different. One's dynamic, one's cardioid, and I can't work out which one would be better for my situation. So I've sent an email to Rode. As soon as I get some guidance about what the most, the best, the, the, the best microphone is for what I'm doing, I'll get that ordered, and hopefully the, the sound quality will improve somewhat. That train overtaking and is now stuck on a red light for no reason. That's not a no reason. It's actually the Castle Douglas dis uh, signalman, uh, and I paid him off recently, and now he's uh, giving me priority everywhere. If it, basically, what he told me was, as long as I keep him, uh, keep his palm greased, he'll keep the signals green. So, it could cost me a fortune, but hopefully, it'll make life a bit easier. <laughs> Oh good, there are four or five class three nineties. Excellent. This is a V two hundred. Diesel hydraulic. Oh, it's time to go. We're off to the munchen. Long platform, well I think it's intended for um, double IC 3Ms. They might just tell me to buy the most expensive one. Well, that's always a possibility. To be honest, there's not a great deal of price in it. The podcast is about £20 more expensive than the NT USB. So... I'm not too bothered which one, to be honest. I'm quite happy to buy either one, but if one of them is um, going to be better in my situation, microphones are really. You, there isn't. You don't just have a microphone. There are multiple types. There are multiple what they call patterns of microphone. There's all sorts of things, and it's finding the right one for the right situation. For example, voiceovers on games, um, whether you're doing music, guitar, that. Um, that kind of thing, singing into it, which will not be happening. Uh, anything like that. If they're all different, microphones will do different um, things. Flight school wouldn't let you use your controller to fly the plane. What controller have you got? Cat shadow. Cardioid is the pickup pattern, dynamic is the type of mic. Isn't one of those a condenser mic? Is, it, oh, is that what it is? I can't remember Strat Shadow. That's what I'm saying. Like, what I know about microphones, I could fit in very big letters on a very small piece of paper. I know that they are different, and what one of the comments is that um, the dynamic nature of the podcaster um, is good at isolating all the noise behind, which means it will pick up what I'm saying, but it won't pick up anything that's around me pretty much. Which sounds awesome. Strat Shadow, could you have a look at and see what um, see what they are, see what you think?
Next train is going to be a class 159 Network South East. We are doing steam later on. I have no idea what's going on with these lights. Or well, cabin way in the background, BR103. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, Simon, yeah, I've looked at your log file and I didn't, uh, I haven't made any progress yet, but I am, I have got other avenues I'm looking at. Expect speed reduction to 60 at the next signal. Carried on slowing down. Oh, 40 limit. Oh. Yeah, that's alright, Simon. I'm, I am still working on it. You're not the only one affected by it, so I'm. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm exploring options. Started looking through the code today. <laughs> Not like I didn't have a lot more to do. Don't hit the buffers? No. Well, I'm aware of one other person, Simon, and it may not be the same problem, but I'm going to work on the assumption it is, uh, and then uh, see how we get on. That's cool. You see the 423 over on the left-hand side is basically what well, it was, just about keeping pace. Well, will the next Forza Apex stream be? I'm not sure. I think the next one might be um, Forza 6 on the Xbox One or something like that. Hey Dan Dyes. Can you see the posterior? I mean the exterior, there you go. But I need to stop at the platform, so. Uh, no Euro Truck Sim today, Big Chrome. Euro Truck Sim is usually Mondays and Fridays. Uh, Forza Horizons 3. Yes, I'll be doing some Forza, Forza Horizons 3. Almost certainly. I can definitely get that. I think my son would lynch me if I didn't get him that.
tabletop racing? Is that a bit like um, um, micro machines or the uh, what was that one I played the other week? Mantis Burn Racing. Good job. Thank you for driving this train. Excellent. So that was the V200 Special Train by Rom Futa. Right. Okay. So. Changing route. And now we are Portsmouth Direct Line. 